A bunch of small religious signs along the sidewalks in Redmond and Seattle are stirring up some big trouble. Como Force Luke Ducey explains the Christmas controversy, new at 5. They're green and white with the words, it's okay to say Merry Christmas on top, biblical verses typed underneath. And they're posted right in front of Redmond's public library and city hall, and there's one on the side of Seattle's city hall too. But are they offensive and do they go too far? I think everyone has a right to voice their opinion. Most people we asked in Seattle and in Redmond agree the signs don't bother them. I think it's just the freedom of speech. You know, people do have the rights to uh, um, voice their opinion on it and stuff. However, for others... They think maybe it's not the most sensitive thing to put out. They feel the signs kind of alienate other religions, make them sound less important this time of year. Yes, it's okay to say Merry Christmas, but I think they should have a fair voice and it's okay to say Happy Hanukkah. And all these signs are planted on public property. Is that okay? Redmond has been a very inclusive city. Um, uh, we celebrate all kinds of religion. Redmond Mayor John Marchioni tells me since the signs are planted in the public right of way, they are free speech and don't break any laws, just as long as they don't end up like these old political signs left behind after the November elections. By January 2nd, they're usually all picked up, which is my main concern, um, uh, and they've always been respectful. We first showed you these signs last year when they just started popping up here and there. Who made them and who planted them is still a complete mystery, but they and any sign like them can stay. So if you want to put up your own sign that says Merry Spaghetti Monster Day, you can do that in Redmond. Luke Ducey, Como 4 News. The only signs not allowed are those promoting a business or selling a product.